Hey guys, how are you? Grant right here. I'm back here today for a brand new video. After a few months, I am getting back to the one and only The Voice, Whitney Houston, today, as by popular demand. We had a very, very, very nice request. Um, yesterday, I believe it was, or the day before, uh, for what we're going to be looking at today. And you guys already know, it goes without saying, anything involving Whitney, I am just ecstatic to watch, revisit, um, especially here with you guys. Um, so today is going to be no different. Going to be looking at Whitney Houston's performance of the Star Spangled Banner at her Welcome Home Heroes concert, 1991. You guys already know, absolutely unforgettable concert. Um, if you guys know anything about the Star Spangled Banner, you know it is one of the most um, disgraced songs in the book. I have seen so many pop singers just completely ruin it with just endless bullshit. It's a mask. What they don't got, just try to camouflage the lack of, you know, vocal proficiency. And um, I'm going to say this one time, I'm probably going to say it a million other times in this video. I honestly have always stated my personal opinion. I don't think there is any point in anyone ever singing that song because of the fact that Whitney Houston did it. Whitney Houston just, there's nobody that can do it even close to what she did to it. There's no point in hearing other people ruin it. Whitney Houston did it absolutely perfect. Just leave perfection alone. I digress though. Whitney Houston did it the way it was supposed to be done. End of story. We're going to be looking at it today and I am excited. Got a cup of joe over here dressed up and I hope you guys are feeling good. Dress up, dress down, dress however you want. You're in my spot. We're going to be going for a good old time as per usual. And without further ado, let's get into it. Before we begin today's video, as always, if you're new here, welcome to the community. I'm happy to have you here. If you please be so kind, hit that subscribe button. No, smash that subscribe button. There's tons of content coming you don't want to miss. Give the video a thumbs up. And don't you forget to leave a comment down below. Let's get into it. Oh boy. Whew. It 
If you guys are anything like me, your socks have been just knocked off as per usual. Another humongous round of applause. Standing ovation, even though I'm sitting down to the one and only The Voice, Whitney Houston. The Star Spangled Banner, as it should be sung. As it will never be sung again. Nice try to everybody who keeps trying. Um, I personally know some people also that uh, try to sing the song. Um, and uh, like I said, there's no point. Whitney did it, so leave it alone. Um, anyway, I want to start off by giving a humongous thank you. I got this comment, like I said, yesterday, the day before, so it's new, but I jumped on it. I'm like, I have everything that Whitney Houston's ever covered. I got it. We got to look at this. Um because I think it's just one of those things that um, it's just such a staple in obviously American history. And like I said, so many people have ruined it. It's just so wonderful to look at somebody who did it the right way, the way it should be done, but it'll never be done again, obviously. Man, I tell you, um, you guys know Whitney, the uh, rendition of it, everybody knows uh, wasn't this one, but she did just as good in this performance. And this was, in my opinion, an even more stripped down version of it. She fucking killed it, man. <sighs> I am always, always, always preaching this about Whitney versus other singers. The one thing, the main thing I cannot stress enough that continues to separate her and her legacy from other singers, and I mean every single other singer, is what I'm always talking about on this channel. She did not, it did not take a minute or two minutes into a song for her to impress you. The moment she opened her mouth, absolute regal, just a regal of regal voices, I'm telling you. That's the only way that I can describe it that does somewhat justice, her just, just the actual tone of her voice, absolute royalty in every single way. And I am so big on that, you guys know, as a professional singer myself, you know, over a decade, I am always preaching that. For me, it is much more important to hear somebody who has a regal, luxurious tone to their voice, as opposed to somebody who has a mediocre tone, but is able to do a bunch of, you know, different ap acrobatics with their voice. And 90% of the singers in the industry, that is exactly what they are. They are absolutely mediocre sing voices, at best, absolutely nothing special, but they've learned how to fool you into thinking they have great voices because of the things that they can make their voices do. And I, I, I may, other people are impressed by that shit. It doesn't fly with me. I can see right through the bullshit every single time. And it always brings me back to people like Whitney, who actually had, you know, astounding voices. End of story. I'm going to keep saying it. I don't care. People get mad. I'm telling you, I get into so many arguments. People are always getting mad at me for saying that. Oh, well, da, da, da. I don't care. Bottom line is, like I said, a great voice and somebody who can do interesting and impressive things with a mediocre voice are not the same thing, bottom line. Um, you guys, if you have been paying attention to pop culture, past decade, two decades, you have seen along with me all of the absolutely horrendous jobs pop singers have done with, you know, with this song. I mean, such a simple song, yet such a vocally demanding song, I just... Nobody has risen to the challenge, in my opinion, except Whitney Houston. And Mariah Carey did an amazing job also. But man, Whitney, pff, top of the top. Nobody has been able to rise to the occasion with this song the way Whitney was able to do. Multiple times, I might add. It wasn't just a one time. She's able to do it multiple times. And the thing is, when you watch Whitney in any performance, but especially in this one, she, you can just see how in command of her voice she was. And that's something that is so just amazing to watch because so often you can see a singer is actually afraid of their voice and afraid of what could happen or what might go wrong. 
But Whitney was just such a professional. She had such confidence in her ability. You could just see it in the way she presented herself. She was, she knew she was going to deliver every time. And I just, I admire that so much because that's how I really, really work hard to be as a, you know, a singer and a vocalist and an entertainer myself. It's so important. I feel, uh, when you are, you know, in front of an audience for you to command a stage that way and to have that kind of confidence, because in turn with you having that kind of confidence, your audience has confidence in you. And I think if you're in an audience and you see somebody that's, you know, afraid of their voice and afraid of what could go wrong, I feel it sort of, um, I, it just messes up the whole vibe. And it just, you, like I said, you wonder why you're actually there and why you're, you know, looking up to this person who obviously doesn't have their shit together. Um, and that's just something I've always admired in Whitney is her command of her instrument and the way she just has so much faith in her ability. Um, and why wouldn't she? Like I said, the greatest voice of all time, hands down, you can fight me all you want. Don't give a shit. Um, let me take a little sip of coffee over here and get a little dry. <laughs> Now, there have been a couple people in specific. I'm not going to name the names because of I, you know, as a performer, I try to have respect for everybody in the in in the industry. But there uh, are a couple. Well, one person in particular who did something similar in a rendition of the song that Whitney did with the head voice, and people automatically wanted to get on a bandwagon comparing her rendition to it. You guys know exactly who I'm talking about. And I'm a big fan. I'm a fan of this person, actually. But I don't. I don't like it when people compare, you know, people in you know one league to somebody like Whitney. Just don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. As a professional, it does get under my skin, and I do take it personally because I've worked hard, you know, at being, you know, the vocalist I am today. And not everybody's the same. There is room for everybody in the industry, but everybody has their place and everybody is in a league. And some people are in one league, other people are in another, if you know what I mean. And I don't like when people try to, you know, compare two different people from two different leagues. Just don't do it. This person who they compared to Whitney, music theater version of the song at best. Okay? That's all I got to say. Discuss as you will. But... Bottom line is, I just, to this day, Whitney Houston's, uh, just everything about her is just untouchable, in my opinion. Absolutely untouchable, just the grace she had, um, the elegance that she always ex executed naturally. It wasn't a show, she didn't have a bunch of, you know, wardrobe and a bunch of sh stuff trying to leave that sort of impression. When she entered a room, she just automatically just gave off royalty, elegance. And I just think that is something that has been long forgotten in the music industry. I just feel there's so much um, cheap attitude and uh, just cheap delivery in general because of a lack of know-how and just a lack of, you know, just the, the degree of, you know, the pedigree of performers. Like I said, it's never going to be what it was. Never. I take pride in being one of the people, you know, in my own world in, you know, music and trying to keep that tradition alive, you know, based on, you know, just the aura and just how I present myself. I just think it is so important. And I just feel like I said, it's when I, when I look at performers now, it always sends me back to, you know, the old school because that is how you do it. That is how it's supposed to be done. And they just do not do it like that anymore. And Whitney Houston is just the prime example of that. She didn't have a band behind her. She didn't have a humongous orchestration, very stripped down. She still absolutely knocked every other singer completely under a ditch. Without even trying, she she didn't even have to try that hard. It's just like I said, natural, and that's something that I'm also very big on. You guys know, I think training is important for a singer, for very specific reasons, for uh, you know, the retention of the quality of the voice and to learn how to you know use your voice, um, in a way that it doesn't hurt you. But I feel if you do not have the foundation of being a great singer, and there are a ton of different things I could go into detail about, but if you aren't naturally a, you know, 
a great singer. I don't feel training, there's no point in it. Training is supposed to um, be the icing on the cake. Not, you can't create a great singer from somebody who's, you know, not a good singer at all. And people, I've said it a million times, have gotten into this, you know, there's this bandwagon, especially on social media, I'm always saying of everybody believing that you can create something out of nothing. And that's true for a lot of things in life, but when it comes to singing, that is not how it works. You have to be born with a gift in order for a vocal coach to be able to take it to its full potential. If you're not born with the gift, there's no point in coaching somebody. You're going to teach them how to do things, but it's just there's no point. They're not a great sing. They're not a good singer in the first place. Um, and it's so wonderful to look at people like Whitney. Like I said, people like Whitney, people like Barbara Streisand, people like Dionne Warwick, Shirley Bassey, Donna Summer, Shaka Khan, all of the greats who just naturally. They were born great. You know what I mean? They worked their ass off to become what they were, but they were born great. You either got it or you don't. I'm always saying it, and I will say it to the end of time. Fight me if you want. Don't care. Um, one of the things I want to touch on that I'm always touching on, just Whitney, her head voice just makes me dizzy. I mean, how unbelievable of a head voice she had. Just the best of the best. Um, and it was, it was not... It's, it wasn't one of those things that she turned into a gimmick. I mean, I feel a lot of people, um, it's, I'm not going to go into detail, but uh, one of the things that Mariah Carey was known for was her incredible whistle register. And she took it to its fullest, you know, to the fullest extent of it. And so many other singers tried to copy m what Mariah did with that after um, using, and they used it as a gimmick. Mariah Carey never needed to use her ability as a gimmick. It was the icing on the cake. And these other singers, I'm not going to name the names, there's one in particular today that uses it as sort of a gimmick. Um, and Whitney Houston uh, never had to use her head voice as a gimmick, and Mariah Carey never had to use her whistle register as a gimmick. And that's what I admire with somebody um, using their ability in that way, but you knowing that they don't need that to define the base of who they are as a vocalist. Um, and Whitney, like I said, she just, she didn't need any gimmicks. She didn't need any, you know, she didn't need any of that. She's just the voice of voices, end of story, never be another. I could go on and on and on. You guys already know though, another humongous round of applause for Whitney Houston, nippy. Star Spangled Banner. Once again, thank you so much guys for bringing this to my inbox. I just, Anything involving Whitney, just like I said, it's just such an honor to be able to cover because she just inspired me so much, as well as everybody, the greatest voice that will ever exist. End of story. And um, like I said, it's just, I feel so many people just need to continue to look at her work and just, you know, especially young singers, just look at the way she was able to use her voice and I, I and her stage presence, everything involving her is just master of masters. And like I said, I'm just, just always blown away uh, revisiting her. her legendary performances. Continue to leave your Whitney Houston request to my inbox. I'm always looking through it. And we will continue the Whitney journey on my channel together. Thank you so much for joining me today for this reaction video. Please give the video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. There's tons of content coming you don't want to miss. If you're new here and you want to support the channel, Consider leaving me a donation via Cash App or a Super Chat here on my channel. All the details will be in the drop-down box below. You guys know the deal. If you want me to react to something, leave your requests in my comments down below, and I will add them to the lineup. If you all stay blessed, stay safe, keep the positivity going. We need all we can get in this world. I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.